basically just like painting your photo. That's all we're doing here. We're painting this photo in. Making it look real. See how there's a little streak right there? You don't want that. Let's move this a little more over here. Blend that in a little bit better. Still getting that streak right there, so we're gonna go ahead and move this down. And like I said, guys, if you do this too much, you can change your brush back to white, and you can take the the highlighted area out. So you want to make sure that you don't see any streaks. You really do got to pay attention to that when you're doing HDR photography, guys. It's really it's it's a very it's a very unique talent. And you want to make sure that everything looks real. <clears throat> I apologize if I get a little quiet cuz I like to concentrate while I'm doing this. And always hold down the mouse, guys, because if you let go of the mouse itself and you click on the uh, mouse button again, what's going to happen is it's going to restart the brush and you're going to end up going over layers that you already did and it's going to look darker than and you're going to be able to justify the brush stroke. So you want to make sure you pay attention and you really got to hold on to that button on your mouse. see these effects when it's given us doesn't that look a lot more dramatic We've got a beautiful scene it's just as beautiful look at the contrast look at the composition this was a fantastic shot guys the water is nice and fogged right over Like, I don't even know that if we're going to go with the other water sh shot because the way this is turning out, you don't always have to use all four exposures, guys. If you start to like something when you're blending it in, it might just turn out fantastic. And you don't even have to worry about the other exposures. It just depends. It all depends of how it turns out and how you want your image to look on the final copy. But right now... Just by making the water just a little bit darker with our our uh, sky shot, it's giving us a lot more color on the water. It's making it look real and not uh, unrealistic. It really is giving us a dramatic feel to it. look at that that is just beautiful guys look at that it's so dramatic I think I'm gonna go just a little bit darker um, with this water 
because I can still justify a little bit of darkness right here. Um, I want to make sure that the sky belong, uh, gives us a little purple effect on the sky or from the sky onto the water. So let's bring the opacity down just a little bit. We're going to go down to six. I'm going to bring my brush back up uh, in size because I want to be able to blend in a little more area here and see if we can get a better blend in so we don't we can't see that. And then again later, you know, I mean if you if it looks like you're losing the softness on the water because you took a shorter exposure with this guy, you could always add it in with your water exposure shot. So we'll be able to get that softness back. But you want to have um, at least a little bit of color on there from the sky shot guys you really do you don't want it to look unrealistic you want it to look like it works Later we can add more softness to this. So guys, that right there, I kind of like it right there. Um, I don't see much br any brush strokes. You can justify color in the water right in here. Um, and also you got the, the sun ray that's lining right up with the sun in the, or up in the sky so that's exactly what we want we want to make sure this looks realistic guys we really do we don't want to make it look like we've took multiple exposures and we just want to make it look like we did one shot only okay guys let's go a little bit darker on the horizon uh, again I'm only on six opacity so this ain't really gonna bring out much I just want to be able to see more color on the water itself up here on the top of the water. Just doing this darker is making it look nice. It looks really good. And I'm very happy we seen a pink sky that night, guys. It came out pretty pretty fantastic. And always, always work with a low opacity because you don't want it to look terrible. Okay guys, that's enough for me for the water. Um, maybe just one more stroke. Um, only a little bit though at the top because I want this horizon to be a little bit darker. Not too much darker, you just don't want that harsh white water line going across the screen. You want it to look real. Plus, you want that nice silhouette horizon. It makes it look a lot more better, guys. It really does. It really does make your photo stand out. Look at that. That's just beautiful, guys. It really is. I do apologize, guys, if you're getting a glare from one of my lights. So maybe this is just a little bit better for you guys. Sorry, I had to jump for it. Um, I got a better light over here. My brightness on my monitor is turned all the way up, so we're good. You know, you see, because we aligned the photos, we're getting these, uh, the, the crop is all wrong. We'll take care of that later because it's trying to layer everything perfect behind every single image. We won't worry about that. We will lose a little bit of a crop out of our photo, but as long as we can keep the sun in there 
and we can keep the bench in there, we're going to be completely fine. It's just going to come out to a dramatic, beautiful HDR photo. I am very happy with this photo already, how it's already turning out with the sky and the water and the color on the water. So um, I can tell already, guys, this is really going to come out. It's going to come out beautiful. I'm happy we went out yesterday and showed you from the beginning of what we do or what I do as far as the HDR photography. It really is something. You can really get a lot out of something like this. It, it's just it's just amazing. Once I actually discovered HDR photography, I don't want to photograph anything else anymore. Um, we're getting a little bit of a flash on my screen here. I hope that the video is coming out okay for some reason. It might be a slow connection between the GoPro and my phone. So hopefully we are recording and clear right now. Okay, guys. Now, I feel like I'm done with the sky layer. What we're going to do, now we're going to merge the sky layer, the mask, and our base photo together. In order to do that, we need to hold down control over here again. We're going over to the right side of the screen. Excuse me, so hold down control. We have our base photo and our mask right here. It's all highlighted. And here's our sky photo right here. So what we're gonna do is hold down control, click left, 